Rashida Strober. Meet the founder and inventor of the first movement in history for dark skin, Rashida Strober, the world's first and only dark skin activist. Meet the founder and the creator of dark skin activism since 1998. She's interviewed in Harlem after her show on the dark skin activist tour. Rashida Strober finally getting a chance to meet her finally. face to face. Yep. We have, she's been on my show twice. Yep. Me and Unique. Yep. Unique should be logging on soon. And, you know, there were a few people that didn't get a chance to hear the interview, which they can log on and see. Who is that? See, I can't even see. Because I'm so what Heather, Heather Shack. Okay, so let's just say something about Heather really quickly. Mm -hmm. Heather enjoyed you so much the first time that you were on the show she was actually one of the ones that was like no she has to come back but thank you heather and so i don't know heather if you have a question but we don't have a lot a lot of time um but if you don't have a question that you want to post i just want to start off with a question that i've asked rashida a million times before which is what inspired her to do um a dark skin woman's revenge so in case y'all didn't hear the answer on my show she can answer now. Yeah, um, just my life experiences of wanting to tell my truth. That's really wanting to tell my truth. Now, I was speaking to Mecca in Harlem on a dark skin activist tour, which I created way back in 2006 before anybody decided to speak about dark skin. Nobody was doing what I was doing. Nobody. Nobody. I started dark skin activism, which nobody cared to speak on the dark skin discrimination that people faced in 1998, gave birth to it at St. Petersburg College. So that tour that I was on that started in 2006, that was 2017. I say that because I'm laying a historical foundation because of all of the unscrupulous people manipulative lying people who have sat back and watched my work online and have done nothing but ripped it off and stolen it. And I want people to understand that you need to open your eyes to the truth because I'm not going to stop until justice is served regarding what has happened with the intellectual property theft of dark skin activism. I'm never going to stop until I get justice. Now in 1998, and I'm gonna do my own voice over here for the haters, cause I could do that. You mad? Be upset. The dark skin activists got the talent, the foresight, the wisdom to do any motherfucking thing I wanna do. So I'm gonna rock this voice over right quick before I go into what I gotta say tonight. In 1998, Rashida Strober created Dark Skin Activism, the first movement, the first movement in history to advocate for dark skinned people and called herself the dark skin activist. And any bitch calling themselves anything activist, you're, you're stealing, you're robbing. Period. Rashida created the phrases dark skin activist, which these folks like this chick saw my work and then created derivatives and dark skin activism. Rashida also coined the word darkism. But you see, folks like this thief know that if they use darkism, they already know it's gonna come back to me. So what they do, they copy my work, but they do it under the cloak of colorism. But you ain't created shit. You ain't brought colorism online. What you did, you watched and you stole. But I'm gonna continue breaking that down. Rashida Strober is the first person in recorded history, understand me clearly, to create a movement for dark skin. 
Rashida Strober is the first artist. There is an, not another person that can say this. Rashida Strober is the first author, actress, and YouTuber and social commentator to focus on only dark skin and has been doing so since 1998. So tell me how a bitch brought the topic of colorism online. Tell, make that shit make sense to me. Make that shit make sense to me to come tell me that people are not, such as this individual, plagiarizing dark skin activism. I need you to make it to make sense. You can't make it make sense because as people try to make it make sense, you spin a web of lies and your lies is gonna catch up with you. Let me continue. Rashida Strober has written more books on dark skin than anyone in the world. Her books can be found at darkskinactivist.com, which is the first website for dark skin, which is the same website that these plagiarists have gone to and stolen from and plagiarized from. Rashida has been touring the country since 2006, dates 2 2006, explain to me how a bitch brought colorism online if I've been doing this work since 2006, brought it online in 2009, made the shit pop and go viral in 2015. Explain to me how a bitch brought colorism online. You can't because you're spinning a web of lies. And I don't deal well with liars and thieves and manipulators. But let's continue my intro. Books include A Dark Skin Girl's Triumph, The Rashida Strober Story, Darkism, 25 Ways Dark Skin People Are Discriminated Against, How to Be the Hottest Dark Skin Chick on the Planet, which I used to give this book away for years for free. But these bums, these plagiarists, these thieves and liars stooped so low as to go to my website and rip off content from a book that I gave you bums for free. Now that's motherfucking darkism. That's motherfucking systemic economic darkism. These bitches go so far as to even regurgitate the shit that I say and think a bitch ain't watching. Motherfuckers is watching. You ain't gonna get away with it. You might could do it as long as you want, but you're not gonna get away with it because you're not the dark skin activist. You didn't bring colorism online. What your real skill is, is in theft, plagiarism, robbery and marketing, but we gonna get into that. A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge, the book and the play, and Token Dark Girl, the it dark girl of the moment. Now, all those books can be found at my website, darkskinactivist.com, the same website that these bums have been visiting since I started the website, ripping off and stealing and robbing from the originator. You'll never be the originator. So let's talk about this. Cause I have to keep setting the record straight. Cause you motherfuckers is coming at me and I'm letting you know, don't come up on my channel talking about these bitches online created uh, colorism online. It's a motherfucking lie. You're not gonna win against me. I don't give a fuck. How many subscribers you have and i'm talking to you christy i don't give a fuck about your subscribers i don't give a fuck about your marketing skills i don't give a fuck about your regurgitation of my work you're not gonna win because you're not the dark skin activist you didn't bring colorism online what you did was you ripped off and you stole so let me break this down this chick came on youtube in 2013 for about a year i ain't had no videos 
you can go check the facts on every motherfucking thing I'm saying because I don't lie. And you can't change the YouTube stamps. You can't change the dates. Like I told y'all before, you can go back. You can be manipulative once a bitch is on to what you are doing and you could try and change titles, but you can't go back and change the dates. You can't go back and change the content of a video. That's the one thing that YouTube has done right in this whole climate where people could come on to your original shit that's based off of your intellectual property and rip you off and steal from you. You can't change date stamps. So here's what you need to do. Here's what you guys need to do. Go back, go back to this person's channel and ask yourself the question, why did you come online in 2013 if you was so much on colorism why you ain't make videos in 2013 on colorism pause now why you asking yourself that question of why did you come on to youtube in 2013 but made no videos on colorism until 2015 after i became known to the world as the dark skin activist and introduced the topic of colorism to the world that went viral via me being made donkey of the day by the breakfast club ask yourself why did this person start making videos on darkism because that's what you're doing you cloaking it in colorism but i see right through the bullshit why didn't you make these videos in 2013 when you started your YouTube channel as opposed to Rashida Strober not only creating dark skin activism, the first platform for dark skin in 1998, but since I popped up online, I ain't never changed. Since I created my YouTube channel, it ain't never changed. So ask yourself why this person from 2013 up into 2015, you spoke on black issues, on generic black. These are all motherfucking facts. I challenge anybody. Bring, dispute the facts. You're not going to win. This is why people won't challenge me, because they know that they're going to have to box intellectually very hard to beat what I'm saying. Because I come with nothing but facts based upon your own doing. You're doing your own self in. Explain to me why this person from 2013 to 2015 spoke on their channel about general black people issues. Explain that to me. Somebody got to do some explaining. And then I want you to turn around and explain to me why after 2015, when Rashida Strober had a beef with Kendrick Lamar over colorism, which you motherfuckers never even talked about, why you started talking about it after that. Explain to me why you took my videos and put it on your Twitter. Explain that. Explain to me why you started calling yourself the colorism activist after I called myself the dark skin activist. You can't explain this shit away. It's called the plagiarism of dark skin activism. So what you need to do is be honest and tell the truth. See y'all, 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 y'all done brought out the the wolf. Y'all done brought the dogs out. Because you're bringing this fuckery to me. And when you bring bullshit to me, I'll deal with you head on. And I'm going to tell you right now, the only reason why I have not filed a lawsuit against this person, people coming up on here, you talking shit, going on and on about, well, you ain't brought no lawsuit, you ain't did this. Let me tell you something, that costs money. And believe me, you see this donation uh, a box right here? You see this donation website right here? If enough money is raised, first thing I'm going to do is file a lawsuit against this dirt bag. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm filing a lawsuit. It ain't going to even be no questions. I'm filing a lawsuit. So for those of you that's talking shit, want to play internet lawyers, you're not a fucking attorney. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If you can't show me a JD uh, law license, a degree, then what you need to do is get off my channel. And I'm talking to the person that had the audacity to come up on my channel speaking on what you don't know about. You have no idea what the hell you talking about. Anybody can sue anybody anytime. 
It's all about money. You don't know what the fuck you are talking about. So what you need to do is stay the fuck in your lane. Unless you could bring, again, unless you can bring me facts, which most people cannot do. That's the problem here. I have the facts, but most people have their feelings with no facts. I got feelings, but I also got facts. So what I'm saying to you, if you don't have some facts to bring to me, then you need to stay the fuck off my channel. And you... Who is this person? Let me let me let me see what your name is. Louis Pearl. I'm calling you out. I think that's your name. Cuz you don't know what you're talking about. You're going off of what you think. I'm going off of what I know. And as soon as this bread is raised, I'm going to sue this woman. And everybody going to know it. Everybody is going to know it. This is not going to be no secret. This is going to be something to where it's going to be public record and i'm definitely going to come on social media and publicize it because this person you need accountability you're a fraud you know what you've done y'all think for one minute this person don't know let me say let me tell you something their real talent is in marketing so for the people that want to say well why are all these people watching this fraud and not rashida rashida is not a marketer what happened is in 2015, when I went viral, two things happened with this, this person that is plagiarizing my work. Number one, they said in their about section that they were a marketer, a marketer. Do we understand what marketing means? That means they know how to market whatever product to human beings and get these human beings to pay attention to that product. So this person already had a built-in marketing strategy for the product, which was simply speaking on black issues. They are a marketing expert. They're not the dark skin activist expert. So what they did is when they saw Rashida Strober go viral, speaking on colorism, darkism, dark skin discrimination, they said, ah, oh, I'm going to take this, steal this person's work, take it back to my channel, switch up talking about general black people issues i'm gonna start talking about this colorism darkism thing still from rashida strober's work and pass it off as my motherfucking own that's what they did plain and simple stay in that and but facts and what you're gonna have to do what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to come see me in court and when you come see me in court you gonna have to show your face you've been hiding stealing and hiding because that's what you know thieves do they don't like to be seen they don't like to let the world know what they're doing because they want to continue to steal and take from people this is what they want to do but when i file that federal lawsuit you have to come see me in court you're gonna have to show your face and you're gonna have to be you're gonna be forced to be held accountable so continue continue passing off my work as yours continue deceiving the people because you could do it for as much as you want but i guarantee you i don't give a fuck if i'm a little old lady i'm gonna drag your ass up into a federal court i'm going to drag your ass subpoena your ass and drag your ass up into federal court and let the battle begin let that battle begin and for all you haters out here First of all, fuck you haters. I don't give a I don't give three fucks about you because oh, everything haters. that I have said regarding the matter of the plagiarism of dark skin activism has been proven to be true. Case in point. Three, four months ago, Angel Ramirez Jordan, what did he do? He went and falsely flagged a YouTube video that is the intellectual property of himself and myself. That we both agreed to back in 2015 when i became viral for the kendrick lamar beef regarding colorism and darkism he begged me literally begged and then he started working with this trick after me it's what they do this is what they that's, that's why i said they're gonna be held accountable folks and you go and you lie to youtube and you tell them that this is your intellectual property and we went through this process Cause I'm a, I'm a fighter. I'm an intellectual fighter. You can bring that shit. You better be ready. You can bring it. 
You can bring it. You can bring the heat. But you better be ready to face the fire because I'm not playing with you. He goes to YouTube, lies and tells YouTube that it's his intellectual property. A video that he interviewed me on regarding dark skin activism. You came to me. I ain't come to you. I don't seek these people. I don't even watch these people. They've been watching and stalking me and stealing from me. Understand that very clearly. So he comes to me, asks me for begs. I ain't going to even say ask. He begs because he kept coming back over and over again. I already got the video up where I showed y'all my Facebook direct messages. I got receipts. Everything I say, I got receipts on. I don't lie. And he says, I want to interview you about, you know, the situation with Kendrick Lamar. I give him the interview and we both agree. This is both our intellectual property on. You can put it up on your channel. I put it up on my channel. The video was up for three. What? Since 2015, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, four years. And all of a sudden he comes along because I call him out for plagiarism. He gets angry and goes and falsely flags the video. But long story short, the dark skin activist won that battle because guess what? It took three, four months. But you two put the motherfucking video back up again. So I said that to say this. Number one, I tell the truth. I don't fucking lie. Number two, the truth is always going to win in the end. There's only one motherfucking dark skin activist that brought the whole entire discussion topic of dark skin to the Internet. It popped, went viral, got popping in 2015. And people like this woman stole and ripped off my work. Facts. Now, anybody out there, you're free to debunk what I'm saying, but you better, you, you better bring the heat. When I say bring that heat, you better bring the facts. That's what I'm talking about. You will have a hard time refuting what I'm saying. You gonna have to go and you gonna have to dig up some shit and cre you, ain't, you ain't gonna even be digging up shit. It's gonna be creating shit from scratch. Cause you're not gonna be able to debunk what I'm saying. You're not gonna be able to do it because I'm actually telling the truth. And the truth is always going to win out in the end. I've told you guys often, this is war. A series of battles, for example, the battle that I just pointed out, speaking on the Angel Ramirez situation, that battle I've won, but this is ultimately war. And this war is not going to stop until I win. It's not over until I win. It's not motherfucking over until I win. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. I want everybody to understand that, including you plagiarizers out there. Your real talent is in marketing. Now, I want to be clear that those of you that are trying to understand why are these people listening to this woman fraudulently portray herself as bringing colorism online because it is because she marketed. She is a marketer. She said it in her about section. This was a couple of years ago. Then she changed it. She switched it up when she found out that people was on to the scam. So her talent and ability is marketing. And the plagiarism of other people's work, which she markets to her audience and passes it off as her own. This chick ain't the only one that's been stealing from me. Since 2015, anybody you see online talking about darkism, colorism, they've stolen from Rashida Strober because I brought it online. I, Rashida Strober, brought the topic of colorism online, which other black women came to my channel and ripped off my video content and stole. Facts, 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 facts. And I already said, simply go, this is one way to verify it. Simply go to their channels and look. And you'll see a history of videos that had a, not a motherfucking thing to do with colorism, dark skin, or darkism prior or before 2015. All facts. All facts. But eventually you got to pay the piper. Eventually, you have to pay for stealing. Eventually, you have to pay for intellectual property theft. And I love these people. I love the naysayers. I love the haters. 
AKA the liars, because what you are is on a bandwagon of lies. I can't, I don't even respect you because what I don't respect is liars and thieves. And if you on that liar, thievery, robbery bandwagon, what you say do doesn't even move me. It doesn't matter. Because you're a part of the lies as well. You're a part of the intellectual property theft as well. So for those of you out there that want to see justice, for those of you that want to see this case of the plagiarism, the intellectual property theft of dark skin activism, for those of you that want to see this end up in court, make a donation. Make a donation. The website, I'm uh, actually, I'm right here on one of my many platforms where you can make a donation. I'm going to go ahead and drop the information inside of the chat box. Go to my website, uh, my GoFundMe, and make a donation. Make a donation. Also, I encourage everyone, if you want to know the real true history of colorism, the honest history, not the fraud shit, not the I got to go watch somebody video or go to their website, look at their content and rip it off and steal. If you want the real deal truth, take my Understanding Darkism course that I will be presenting on May 21st. All you got to do is click this link and I'm going to click it and it'll take you directly to the course registration page. And the course comes along with the book Darkism 25 Ways Dark Skin People Are Discriminated Against. And Make sure you register for the course because I'm going to give you the real true history of colorism. Unlike the rest of these frauds, you're not going to get a lie from me. I'm going to give you the truth. And if you are the type of person that is a moral, ethical, upright person that cares about honesty, this is not for the liars and the deceptors and the criminals. I don't want no parts in that. I want only honest people. Or if you've participated in criminal behavior in the past and you want to reform yourself, you want to redeem yourself, then you can come along and take this course too. It's a course that can be taken from the comfort of your own home. I'm giving it on May 21st at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And all you need to do, like I said, if you go to my website, darkskinactivist.com, darkskinactivist.com, and you click on the uh, pink wording, it's going to take you directly to the registration page. Now, also, make sure... You go to my website, darkskinactivist.com, and if you scroll on down, you can get access to my new book called Token Dark Girl, the It Dark Girl of the Moment. And if you want to purchase my other books, including Darkism and A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge, you simply go to shop and it'll take you directly to the purchase page. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video tonight. I want to thank you for taking the time to Listen, those of you that care about truth and honesty of what has happened to the world's first and only dark skin activists, because the story now is the story of how Rashida Strober, the world's first dark skin activist, created the first lane in history for dark skin from her heart in 98 when nobody gave a fuck about it, brought it to the Internet. People said I was crazy. And then people like Chrissy turned around and copied every motherfucking thing I did. That's the new story that the world is going to get exposed to. World's first and only dark skin activist, Rashida Strober, the creator, the inventor, the designer, the architect of the first platform in history for dark skin, the real one, the genuine, not that fake shit. I ain't watched nobody video. I've been a dark skin activist since 1998, before YouTube, before social media, and no bitch alive. You can copy me. You can have as many subscribers and pass off my work as your own, but you will never be the dark skin activist. You will never be able to go back in time and do what I've done. And that is create the very first platform in history for dark skin known as dark skin activist activism. Rashida Strober is the only person in the world to focus exclusively on dark skin and has been doing so since 1998, as demonstrated by a 20 year body of work. Meet the founder and inventor of the first movement in history for dark skin, Rashida Strober, the world's first dark skin activist. All right, 
So I am here with Rashida Strober finally getting a chance to meet her finally. face to face. Yeah. We have she's been on my show twice. Yep. Me and Unique. Yep. Unique should be logging on soon. And you know, there were a few people that didn't get a chance to hear the interview, which they can log on and see. Who is that? See, I can't even see. Because I'm so what Heather, Heather Shack. Okay, so let me just say something about Heather really quickly. Mm -hmm. Heather enjoyed you so much the first time that you were on the show. She was actually one of the ones that was like, no, she has to come back. For me Thank you, show. Heather. And so I don't know, Heather, if you have a question, but we don't have a lot, a lot of time. Um, but if you don't have a question that you want to post, I just want to start off with a question that I've asked Rashida a million times before, which is what inspired her to do um, a dark skin woman's revenge. So in case y'all didn't hear the answer on my show, she can answer now. Yeah, um, just my life experiences of wanting to tell my truth. That's really tell, wanting to tell my truth. In 1998, Rashida Strober created Dark Skin Activism, the first movement in history to advocate for dark skinned people and called herself the Dark Skin Activist. Rashida created the phrases Dark Skin Activist and Dark Skin Activism. Rashida also coined the word darkism. She is the first person in recorded history to create a movement of this kind for dark skinned people. She is the first artist, author, actress, YouTuber, and social commentator to focus her work only on dark skin and has been doing so since 1998. She's written more books on dark skin than anyone in the world. Her books can be found at darkskinactivist.com. Rashida has been touring the country since 2006, giving darkism lectures and performances of her play. For bookings, go to darkskinactivist.com. Books include A Dark Skin Girl's Triumph, The Rashida Strober Story, Darkism, 25 Ways Dark Skin People Are Discriminated Against, How to Be the Hottest Dark Skin Chick on the Planet, The First motivational book for dark skinned females, a dark skinned woman's revenge, the book and the play and token dark girl, the it dark girl of the moment. If you would like to see justice served, go make a donation so that I can bring the people who have ripped off my work on YouTube to justice via a lawsuit, via a lawsuit in federal court to hold them accountable for the intellectual property theft of dark skin activism. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. And remember, there's only one dark skin activist, one true dark skin activist, Rashida Strober, who brought dark skin colorism to the internet, the first person to do it, and the creator of dark skin activism, in 1998 before anybody even cared or saw dark skin as worthy of a topic to speak on.